Hi, I'm John. Welcome to Hengamex Studio. Today I want to talk to you about how I use 3D printing to help in the workshop. So when you think about the processes involved in cabinet making, carpentry, joinery, any sort of woodworking, you don't really think about a 3D printer being a good tool to have. I think that will change though. I bought mine on a little bit of a whim, uh, not really expecting it to be super useful. It was more like a, a learning experiment and a bit of fun if I'm honest. And I've been amazed at just how useful it is. To get the most out of it, it does help to be somewhat competent with CAD or any, you know, any sort of design software. But even if you're not, there's lots of free designs you can just download off the internet and that there is literally thousands of designs you can just download off the internet and print straight away. So if you're not familiar with how the process works, you essentially draw up your model or download a model. You then take this model and you put it into another little bit of software which slices it up and there's tons of different options, you don't need to worry about too much of it. But that basically chops up the model and breaks it down into code so that the printer knows what to print on each layer. And that's about it really. It looks a lot more complicated than it is, no one's doing. So what do I use it for? Tons of stuff. Let me show you. The main use would be jigs. It's so easy to quickly draw up a jig in CAD and then print it out ready to use. Not only is it super accurate, it saves a lot of time and once I've got the file I can just print any replacements or if I want to adapt it easily I can just do that. It's brilliant for odd shaped ironmongery or random wool off stuff. In fact, a lot of ironmongery suppliers also offer a CAD file download with their products. So you can take that and turn it into a jig really fast with a little bit of practice. The other main thing I use it for is like generally just like odds and sods around the workshop. So hammer holders, uh, little tubs, battery holders, setting up tools, that's actually really useful. Uh, there's, there's just tons of this stuff vacuum hose attachments. That's a really good one. It can be such a pain getting attachments to work with the right diameters. They're all sort of slightly different. So I'm in this parametric file. So all I have to do now is essentially type in the dimensions of the hose. And just like that, there you go. Look, a specific adapter is ready to print. I've also been experimenting with 3D printing wood. So this is a mixture of wood fibre and plastic essentially and you can sand it and stain it just like real wood. So here's some cabinet knobs I made. Um, I also use this material to make sort of cabinet door and drawer stops. They come out looking really neat and of course you can design them exactly how you want. And lots of little random bits that it's handy for. So for example, part of the mechanism I used in this secret bookcase door was 3D printed from a design I made. There's also, you know, there's loads of different filaments you can buy and just play around with. I've got so many ideas I'd like to try out, just want to get a minute. But I think the main limitation with it is the strength. So the standard filament, PLA, although it's really easy to use, it isn't super strong and it definitely doesn't like heat. So you, you can get other materials or filaments that are going to offer a lot better characteristics. But to be honest, I, I haven't actually had time to experiment too much with those. Does every workshop need one? Not all, but at the same time, once you have one, you really wouldn't want to be without it. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. And while you're here, check out some of the other videos, see what else we do. And if you'd like to get in touch, drop us a line. Okay, thank you, bye.